My longest session was probably uh, day one of my back piece by Matt Jordan. I think it was like nine and a half hours or so, and then maybe eight hours the next day. And then I had another uh, eight hour session the day after that, and then another eight hour session three days after that. <laughs> My name is Jordan Fino. I'm from a small town near Portland, Oregon, and I've been getting tattooed for about five years. I knew I, I wanted a lot once I got my first good piece, which was this on my inner bicep. Because, you know, when before Instagram and all that social media came out, I didn't really know how crazy of the quality tattoos could be, and I just thought of them as tattoos rather than art. And once I realized that it was actual art, um, that was when I pretty much knew that I wanted it everywhere. I've been tattooed by 22 different artists uh, for a total of about 250 hours worth of work. I was tattooed by two different guys in Idaho before I was of age. Um, can't remember their name exactly. I was tattooed by uh, another dude named Juan at the Portland Expo, um, a lady named Carrie at the Portland uh, Expo. I was tattooed by Orcs. Um, I was tattooed by Matt Jordan, Cecil Porter, uh, Vic Vivid, Luke Palin. Uh, Saul Lira, Stefano Alcantara, uh, Kyle Cotterman, Daniel Rocha, Vito, Isaac Roman, Bash, uh, Fred from Spain, um, Rock, uh, Dennis Savak, um, someone from Santa Barbara, and Jack Connolly a few times. Probably about half of my tattoos are meaningful. Um, the other are just, you know, art to me. I have a couple of Jesus pieces just to show my faith uh, here, here, and then big crucifixion on my front. Um, I have a Mary on my side that just basically symbolizes the pain that she went through with the crucifixion. Uh, I got my folks here, a brain with a key unlocking it that basically just symbolizes like what I had to do to keep my mind healthy. I have this light bulb guy that basically just symbolizes the, the mind that an entrepreneur has, you know, just ideas that pop into your head randomly. Um, I'm Italian, so I got Venice here. I have this heart with a crown of thorns around it, just to show my faith. My most memorable tattoo was definitely my front, the second day of my front session, Crucifixion with Matt Jordan. It was two days straight, probably seven or eight hours each, and I remember just finishing the front and getting back to the hotel in California and looking in the mirror, and I was like, I just couldn't even believe it. That's always gonna be my favorite tattoo, I think. You know, it was just a bold display of my faith and a constant reminder of who I am. You know, I've met a lot of friends in the industry and whatnot, um, and, and when you get tattooed, you do get looked at differently, but I feel like the people who look at you differently are really the people that you don't need, you know what I mean? If people take the time to get to know me, I think that they realize that um, I'm not a bad dude, you know? Every, a lot of people will see tattooed guys and just think that they'll have preconceived notions about them, but I think once you dig a little bit deeper, you figure out that you know, it is just art to people. It's not about, you know, being a gangbanger and, and being a bad dude or anything like that. It is important to save your money so you can get quality work. So definitely putting away money for a good bit to get quality pieces is a challenge. Uh, the pain can be tough sometimes, but whenever I'm getting tattooed, I always just remember it's gonna come out fire and, you know, it's, it's all going to be okay in, in a couple hours, so the pain isn't usually the hardest part, but, you know, saving cash to get quality sessions can be a bit tricky at times. Getting tattooed is an investment and a hobby for me. I look forward to every single appointment I have. Anytime I book an appointment, I'm waiting a couple months, and that's what I'm thinking about a lot of the days. But it's also an investment because you're saving your money and you're putting decent amounts of money into getting pieces on your body that are going to last forever, whereas I think it's more important to have one quality piece than to have ten crappy tattoos. I know people who will just, you know, get a tattoo every month, but I think it's a much better idea to invest in yourself and, and save your money so that you have quality pieces overall, rather than quantity. 
My name is Jordan Fino. I'm from Portland, Oregon. Uh, thank you guys for checking out my collection.